Hey YouTube, um, <coughs> in this video I'm doing a really quick one on, well not really quick, just a video of something I promised earlier and that is honeycomb for tablets on my HTC Desire or well, credit goes to somebody called Coolex, Coolex, I don't know whatever his name is, XDA for the HTC Desire. He um, made this ROM and he also made a couple of more ROMs like HDZ and my touch was you ROM so let's get straight into this so I've not boxed me first see this is honeycomb it's a honeycomb unlock thing <coughs> and if you see at the bottom it says no Oops. screen time at least quickly it says no internet connection because most things don't actually work on this ROM, but let's unlock the device. Let's move thing out the circle. You can see here. Okay, I'm currently using Launch Pro because it's much more faster than the built in launcher. So I'll put the phone button. Click launcher. Okay, this is the stock honeycomb launcher she has those effects and stuff she is quite laggy that's why you decide to use launcher pro it's much smoother makes this build more useful <coughs> so let's start off mm, let's just jump into settings first let's see for some reason the menu button looks a bit weird, it's like it's like some bricks, you can see it. And that is actually the menu button. And apps that allow you to press the menu button. Press it and it opens to the menu. Oops. So go on to about phone. Should be able to see it says Android version which is Honeycomb it's Android SDK port so we go home Oops, I'm just trying to go, it's like a lock so if we the lock scene again, pull it up so we go back home Let's have ADWEX installed on this. It's quite cool really because you know, every single app that works on previous versions of Android works on this. So, so going to quadrant. This actually wasn't working earlier, so let's see if it works now. It was working, and it wasn't working, and it was working. So, let's see if it works. Yeah, and then see. Quadrant is working, so we'll let that do its thing. Probably see it's a really low frames per second, about six or seven, or oh, okay, getting nine there. It's actually quite good, it's actually really small. See the globe in the moment, even that's in its tens, twenties. You know, it's normally in fifties or sixties on a stock HTC sensor. Arm. This one's pretty much unchanged from a normal sensor. Arm. See, I've got just over a thousand. Run it one more time. Back bucket, the back button actually worked then, it's quite surprised. So, as the physical buttons actually don't work, you know, the back button actually work then, but they don't normally work on testing the moment if they actually do. Accelerometer doesn't work. Um, else is what? Wi-Fi doesn't work, network doesn't work, <coughs> GPS doesn't work, most things don't work. 
Nearly finished. Well, the person who created this one, Cool Lex, exactly got it to work the network, which will be coming in the next version. Oh, it's gone to 900. I don't know why. See if the home button works. No, I have to press the harder home button. The software one. The phone. Not to press. So, the person who made this actually has figured out how to. Fix the fucking landscape to fix the problems with the squad network. So, network should be working. I'll do, I'll do a video when network is working. This actually is quite a good build. So, I need a GPU which isn't working very well, but on better devices like Desire HD, this build could actually work properly. This US build needs Tegra 2 because it's graphic intense and it uses hard acceleration, which I think means the better your processor, the actual more better it is. <coughs> so, that's it really. Let's quick look. Let's have a look at the keyboard. Hmm. Keyboard is actually quite cool. This button is at the top though. It's quite annoying. The text actually does not come up, even though you are typing it. So, take the keyboard down. And I'll just go ahead. Wait, the software button. Go A D W. Okay, so this is just a really quick look at honeycomb for tablets on a smartphone. You can see this will probably get somewhere quite soon. And um, <coughs> once the network's working, I might actually be using this as my everyday build because if it all needs 3G, then I'll be able to put on the internet and stuff. I don't really play many games, but at least I'll, to, at least I'll be able to browse XDA. So, it's not that bad really. Just a quick look at Honeycomb for tablets on a uh, smartphone. Thanks for watching, um, and it's cool. Bye.